Social media has been buzzing. Over this photo of transgender athlete Leah Thomas, it looks like she's standing by herself after winning a National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA swimming championship event while her three competitors pose separately without her. Amid bills targeting transgender youth and athletes, social media users have claimed that this photo shows second, third, and fourth place swimmers protesting against Leah Thomas's inclusion in the competition. But is that really what we're seeing here? Time to find out, is this legit? Hi everyone, it's Rani, and welcome back to Is This Legit? A fact-checking and media literacy series produced top to bottom by teen fact-checkers. All right, let's dive in. First, a little bit of background. When University of Pennsylvania's transgender swimmer Leah Thomas won the 500-yard freestyle event at the 2022 NCAA Division I Women's Swimming Championship, she made history as the first known transgender athlete to win an NCAA Division I National Championship in any sport. But what could have been seen as a milestone for transgender athletes and the LGBTQ community was quickly shrouded in controversy. And this photo was shared widely on social media alongside the Save Women Sports hashtag, which is used by those who feel that transgender women have an unfair advantage in women's sports and thus shouldn't be allowed to compete. But while many were quick to say that this photo shows an act of protest, I'm not so sure. When you're suspicious about a claim, you look for evidence, and none of these posts linked to an article. So we're basically just taking their word for it. But let's add a little bit of context to this photo by doing a reverse image search. There are a lot of different tools now for doing a reverse image search, both on desktop and mobile. We did a whole episode on this that I will link up top. But for this fact check, I just took a screenshot of the photo and did a classic reverse Google image search. If you're on a desktop, you can head to images.google.com and upload the photo. And here are the results. The photo pulled up a bunch of articles, so we have a lot to work with. And according to this article from Reuters, this photo actually lacks context. The photo does show University of Pennsylvania swimmer Leah Thomas standing on a podium by herself, while second place Emma Wyant, third place Erica Sullivan, and fourth place Brooke Forty celebrate on a separate podium. But this wasn't some staged protest like some people thought. In reality, Wyant, Sullivan, and Forty competed together in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, and they were just taking a quick friends photo together after the official podium photo op took place. Reuters also linked to a group podium pic from Getty Images, which shows all three athletes standing side by side. But what's really troubling about this story is that social media users essentially put words into the mouths of these athletes, claiming that they were all against trans women competing in sports, and that's not the case at all. According to the Reuters piece, Sullivan and Forty, who came in third and fourth place respectively, have both publicly expressed their support for Thomas competing. And turning back to my results, I also found this op-ed from Sullivan that she wrote for Newsweek. She wrote, Many of those who oppose transgender athletes like Leah being able to participate in sports claim to be protecting women's sports. As a woman in sports, I can tell you that I know where the real threats to women's sports are. Sexual abuse and harassment, unequal pay and resources, and a lack of women in leadership. Transgender girls and women are nowhere on this list. Women's sports are stronger when all women, including trans women, are protected from discrimination and free to be their true selves. So clearly, this photo doesn't come remotely close to what people claimed it showed. But while the reverse image search was really helpful, you could have also employed this additional media literacy tip to fact check this, going directly to the source. Because if this were a real protest, you'd think they'd post about it, right? I went to Sullivan's social media channels, and I did find that she posted this photo on her Instagram feed, but she instead wrote, being subjected to false claims on right-wing media due to this photo with my close Tokyo homies isn't something that happens every day. Now, I have to also mention that the swimmers who came in third and fourth have publicly expressed their support for Thomas, but Emma Wyant, who came in second, has yet to make any sort of comment. Clearly, when it comes to transgender women competing in sports, there are a lot of different opinions. Virginia Tech swimmer Rika Giorgi, for example, wrote an open letter about transgender athletes competing at the collegiate level after she placed 17th in the event that Thomas won. She wrote that while she supports Thomas as a transgender woman, she didn't agree with the NCAA's policy allowing her to compete, writing, every event that transgender athletes participated in was one spot taken away from biological females throughout the meet. 
But remember, context is crucial. The people who disagree with Thomas competing argue that she and other transgender female athletes have an unfair physical advantage. But as a lot of social media users have pointed out, Thomas didn't finish first in every event that she competed in. According to this article from the Philadelphia Inquirer, Thomas didn't break any records and her race times were not extraordinary. She came in fifth in the 200-yard freestyle, and her 500-yard freestyle time was more than 9 seconds slower than Katie Ledecky's record. 9 seconds? In swimming? is major. It's also important to note that the NCAA does have restrictions in place for transgender athletes. According to this press release, transgender student athletes need to document sport-specific testosterone levels beginning four weeks before their sports championship selections. They're also required to document levels at the beginning of their season and then again six months later. But now it's time for our rating. This photo simply does not show female swimmers protesting against Leah Thomas's win. The athletes pictured in this photo, besides Wyant, have all publicly expressed their support for Thomas and other transgender athletes like her. So this photo clearly needs context. But regardless of where you fall on the political spectrum, remember, a photo can be shared to tell a particular story or shape a particular narrative. So you always want to go and check the context for yourself to make sure that you have all the info you need before making an opinion. Thank you so much for watching. If you see anything that you'd like MediaWise to fact check, let us know with hashtag IsThisLegit. If you'd like to see more debunks of viral misinformation, make sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Don't compromise, be media wise.